Now, if you have kids, there's a fairly good chance one of them will have had glue ear at some point. Without trying to put you off your dinner, it's when fluid and mucus build up by the eardrum, making you partially deaf, sometimes for months. The problem is children with glue ear can fall behind with their language skills and struggle at school because they can't hear. So a Cambridge doctor has invented a new device to help them. Here's our science correspondent, Richard Westcott. Seven-year-old Delilah can't hear very well. Point to the tree. Good girl. Excellent. Like a million other children, she's got glue ear. Point to the man. So she misses some of the softer sounds. Some of them like really, really quiet and it takes me quite a while to work them out. Now see how she gets on with this new device developed by paediatrician Tamsin Holland-Brown. Based on the bone vibrating headphones that cyclists wear, it's connected to a microphone that a teacher or a parent can use. Can you point to your nose? Well done. Here's another one. Good girl. You probably can't hear this word, but Delilah can. Yeah! Tamsin invented this device in her own time because she found that so many children with glue ear were falling behind with language and learning skills. The symptoms can last for months and come at a critical time in a child's development. So glue ear is a condition where fluid and mucus build up behind the eardrum here and that prevents sound from being, from being transferred over to the inner part of the hearing system. The bone conduction hearing aid takes sound, changes it into a vibration and sends it down the bone, which is where the inner hearing system is and therefore just bypasses the problem area here. I really hope that we could identify a child with a mild or moderate hearing loss, that we could try to prevent them from having speech and language difficulties or even the behaviour difficulties, that's that difficulty trying to listen all the time and then being labelled as naughty. And I hope that it will help more children to go forward and be okay at school rather than falling behind. So, Delilah, I'm speaking very quietly. Wave if you can hear me. Brilliant. What difference has it made to you having this device? Well, it's made all the difference of the world because um, now I can hear in the classroom. And were you getting into trouble before when you couldn't hear? Yeah, well, I was doing the wrong thing and the teacher was like not believing that I had a hearing problem. It's made her less exhausted. Having to lip read all the time and focus so hard on what is being said around her is draining and exhausting. And I've noticed a difference in her with that. She's a happier child. Tamsin's been given £100,000 by Health Enterprise East to develop a product that she hopes will be available on the NHS next year. Well, Richard's here now. First of all, Delilah, isn't she amazing? A yeah, star in the making is, completely. Yeah, and how lovely that uh, Glue Ear actually did something positive for her today. Um, but this development will really change a lot for children who go through glue ear, won't it? It will, because basically it, it mainly affects children under six, eight, that kind of age. Uh, and that's a really key developmental part of time in your life. So that's when you're at school and you're learning your language skills and you're listening to the teacher. And so if you basically have glue ear for a year and you can't hear properly for a year, because that's how long it can take before you can have an operation that can help. They put a little grommet in your ear or it just goes away. Then that's a long amount of time for someone that age to be missing out on what their teacher is saying, what their parents are saying and, and listening to language and ingesting it all. So actually, if you can give them a way to hear and until this thing goes away, then you're going to improve their development skills. So it's a fantastic idea. It's brilliant. Great story. Thank you, Richard.